Hello, this is Brian again. So I'm past that little spot where I pulled out some more batteries for my camera and just took like a two minute water break. So I just passed another rock duck. So I'm still, still on the summit hunt right now. Probably won't know it until I'm right on it. That's the impression I get considering the thick vegetation up here. All right. I'm going to get another sketchy spot, it looks like. Or maybe not that bad. Stay over here. All right, so what we got? What's over here? What do we got over here? <clears throat> yeah, when this soil's dry, it's probably even sketchier. I mean, honestly, the last 20, 25 minutes of my hike or so haven't been that bad. A few little slightly slippery spots. Nothing that bad though. Alright. So what do we got? Coming up to the ridge again. Right. Oh boy. Okay. It smells great up here, I'll tell you that. It smells incredible up here. So, slight woodsy aroma, aroma. Canyon Live Oak has a very slight woodsy aroma. It gives off, especially the decomposing leaves and stuff like that. So, it does have a very nice soft woodsy aroma here. Probably even more so than usual because it's still kind of damp. I suspect I'm just about there. Yeah, this, this appears to be it. There's nothing high, no higher bumps in front of me. There's really not a lot of... I don't think there's really a bump before you get from this side. So, this is it. Occidental Peak, 5,732 feet. There's the main Mount Wilson Ridge, which is just a little bit lower than where we are. So you get a good view right towards the main radio towers, the observatory, and between that really tall pole and the observatory, I can even see the top of the San Jacinto mountain range. And over here, I can see Mount Low, and then right above Mount Low, the ridge right above Mount Low again is uh, Boney Mountain, where Sandstone Peak is located in the Santa Monica Range. The ocean's very easy to spot from here. I can see the downtown structures, downtown Los Angeles. So if you know where to, if you know where to poke around here on the summit, you will find some views. Like I said, a lot of it's hemmed in by the thick. Sh the thick uh, chaparral and woodland up here, but if you do like turn your head and poke around the summit a little bit, you'll find uh, you'll find the views. Believe me. Again, there's the Mount Wilson Summit Plateau. I am parked over by the gate in front of Skyline Park, so it's going to be a little bit longer than a, than a two two and a half mile hike. 
to get uh, in total, but I mean, whatever, it's all good. A lot of it's going to be uphill, though. <laughs> but it's not like this is like a huge, humongous mountain climb. I'm trying to see if there's a summit register in there. I just see a little rock pile here, probably just marking, oh, you're here. I don't know if there's a summit register up here on uh, Occidental. Why? I don't think there's a benchmark either. I don't know if this is recognized by the U.S. Geological Survey as one of those summits. Those summits, you'll get benchmarks on them. Now, if I were to come from Eaton Saddle, I'd have to fight my way up probably through all this uh, brush. I would have been coming up from this direction here, which would have been probably a tough... Uh, tough way to get up here but yeah the, finally it uh, feels good to finally get up here been meaning to do this peak for a while I attempted it once which ended up in a complete failure in more ways than one not only did I fail to get to the peak but I failed to get back the right way so that was kind of my bad. So, so this is the highest point along the immediate Mount Wilson area. The high point along Mount Wilson's ridge, however, is uh, San Gabriel Peak. So I'm just looking around to see if there's a summit register or anything. I don't think so. And if I do remember correctly, this is a Sierra Club HPS summit. I don't see a register. Oh well, whatever. It's no big deal to me, honestly. I consider my YouTube videos to be my summit signature when I make it to the summit of the peaks. But again, yeah, it's very hemmed in by Canyon Live Oak and Interior Live Oak up here. But it's cool, I finally made it up here. I'm glad I made it up here. I was wondering when this was gonna finally happen. My next challenge is making sure I don't have to do any of those uh, class three scrambles along uh, the hill when I'm trying to side hill. So that'll be my next challenge uh, when I get back to the helipad area, because that's the area where it all started. I went up to visit the helipad, then dropped back down to the trail, kept following the trail for a while, and then ended up uh, uh, shortly after that, uh, running into uh, route finding issues. So what we got up here? Now we're out here coming up to the south slope. Let's see. The south slope of the front range is very extremely rugged. As you can see here, you can see Mount Markham. Mount Markham is one of the most rugged mountains here in the, especially here in the front range. But honestly, it's actually one of the most rugged mountains here in the Angeles National Forest, period, in the San Gabriel Mountains. Most of the other hills are relatively rounded. Mount Lowe's relatively rounded. The hills are relatively rounded. But then you get this real craggy Matterhorn-shaped mountain here, Mount uh, Markham. And it's quite a rugged mountain. Um, like I said, there, you know, there is a a way to get up there just that requires moderate difficulty as opposed to you know trying to rock climb and stuff see the saddle the Mount Lowe trail wraps around the 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 backside of Mount Markham then it goes to the saddle here from the saddle you can pick up the the rest of the tr Mount Lowe trail get up to Mount Lowe and then on the opposite side you can pick up the use trail that goes over the ridge and from that side it's a lot gentler not to say it's not steep and pre uh, slightly precarious in spots and uh, there will be some class 2 scrambling along, along the way but it is totally doable you just got to be careful and occasionally duck some uh, dried up poodle dog bush along the way but it is doable if you if you're so inclined to do so and you don't have a fear of heights because you're on a you're on a ridge line 
But honestly, I think I thought it was a really cool hike to get up there. And you got the lower portions here dropping down to the uh, Eaton Canyon area down at the base. And you just, just get magnificent views from this perch right here. Just absolutely phenomenal views towards the southwest right now and south. Just absolutely precipitous views down there and all these big cone Douglas fir groves covering those uh, shadier canyons down there. Some of those big cone Douglas firs look quite large too. Probably get a lot of moisture in that canyon. Probably a uh, snow melt that drips off of the top of Mount Markham and and stuff like that. But honestly, I know a lot of some people. There's some people that really, really didn't really find too much to really appreciate about this this peak, Occidental Peak. Some people say it's not worth it, and some you know, whoever says that, uh, well, you have your right to your opinion. You know, we don't we don't like the same things. But in my opinion, though, I kind of I like it. I like it up here. If you know where to poke, if you know where to 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 poke around to, you can find some pretty neat views. Probably won't be getting many views on this side here, so I wouldn't wouldn't really risk trying to go too far. But I mean, once you get over there, you just basically get back on your use trail. So I'm gonna follow the trail as far as I could follow it over towards where the helipad site is and hopefully be able to continue following it the rest of the way there because I would like to not have to do all that craziness but here we are got our manzanitas up here here's a little little but little big cone Douglas fir little pseudosuga macrocarpa and we got pale silk tassel. This is here we are, Garia, Garia flavescens. Quite a common sight up here in the San Gabriels. Yeah, I remember on the other side of Occidental there were some silk tassels along the way up here too. So Occidental's Ridge is a good place to find it if you're so inclined to botanize up here. You know. Predominant plants up here are Canyon Live Oak. Big Cone Douglas fir, uh, material live oak, chaparral yucca, and your predominant, your predominantly, your predominant shrub and tree cover, with occasional manzanitas, and oh, holly leaf redberry, uh, pale silk tassel. I said, Occidental Peak cool in my opinion because I love I love climbing mountain peaks I, lo I love getting up to peaks regardless of their elevation I find getting up to high points is quite a quite a fun and challenging task so I, I appreciate I appreciate whatever and wherever I get up to a peak so and whenever of course whenever wherever and however I get up to a peak so here it is Occidental Peak 5,732 feet. I will probably shoot a clip or maybe a few clips on the way back. Uh, at least one clip uh, where I am probably at that area near uh, the helipad where I'm trying to look around and maybe I'll keep the trail this time. Well, time for my obligatory shots my pictures and summit selfie and I'll see you along the way back. <laughs>